Hey, what's going on guys? Breaking news coming out of Southern California. There's currently an earthquake swarm in the community and around the community of Anza, California in Southern California, around 90 miles from Los Angeles. That would be downtown LA. The metro area, probably 70 miles from the metro area. The swarm is continuing right now as I do this video. Um, small, albeit anywhere from 1s to 2s to 3s, it started off with a 4.9 at 6.6 .6 miles deep, not far from the San Andreas fault line, which runs right through this area. Currently, there's over, if we go to the USGS website, which is right here, I'm on Google Earth right now, there's over 200 in this entire area, and that's in the last seven days. If we go right in on the area of Anza, you'll see there's over 100 in this current swarm, just over 104, and climbing. They're in a rural area, that's what I was looking at at Google Earth. They're not big enough to do any damage, but they are an indicator of possibly something bigger. We see swarms out here occasionally, but not very often. A lot of times they follow a larger earthquake. Sometimes they could, it's not a guarantee, precede a larger earthquake. Hopefully that's not the case, but you never know. You always got to be on alert in Southern California, especially as the San Andreas runs from Southern California right in here. In fact, there was an earthquake where it begins in the Salton Sea. This is a huge program I'm running. I've got all of the earthquakes in the last seven days uploaded at the same time. It's a large, large file, but the San Andreas starts in here, runs through the Salton Sea. There was a quake right in the middle of the Salton Sea. They have since removed it, but there's the swarm. We're gonna look at the Yellowstone seismos as they've been very, very active in the last 12 to 24 hours and they continue to be active. Look at all this here. That is an incredible amount of movement for a super volcano caldera. I watch this all the time and there's other people out there that keep a very close eye on this as well. And they'll tell you that is a lot of movement at the super volcano, a lot indeed. And there's probably going to be more with this latest round of earthquakes. Hopefully nothing big, but if we go here to the website, you click on the seismographs, it takes you to different seismos across the country and around the world. Gotta admit this here is a first. Have never seen anything like that at the Turks and Caicos. Not anything even remotely close. Um, I don't see anything on any of the seismos. I'm looking for one in California. Believe it or not, I have seen that type of activity around the Canaries. Never anything that tightly woven, though, around the Grand Caicos right here, the Grand Turks and Caicos. Never anything that tightly woven. That's a very high frequency is what that's telling me. Looking at the seismos across the country and around the world, I don't even see anything in California just yet. Here you can see a small spike from the 4.9. That was down in uh, Big Sur or La Laguna Baja, California, south of the border. It was detected, and that would have been the initial 4.9. Um, there is some unusual movement on these seismos, but for the most part, nothing I haven't seen before. You can see the 4.9 was felt in Texas and another location in Texas. Even up in Wisconsin, they, they picked it up. And I would imagine, I haven't looked yet, this is my first time, Washington State, more than likely Arizona is what I was going to say. And you can see a, a small thin line right there in Arizona. Mississippi, oddly enough. Oklahoma, oddly enough. How bizarre these earthquakes are traveling to the southeast. Like the, the 6.5 in Idaho, it registered stronger down near South America than it did up in Montana and South Dakota. Very unusual. And there was another earthquake added to the pile here. Look at all these quakes. And there's probably going to be more continue at the pace that it's going. Don't know what's going on, but one thing we do know, there is a definite swarm underway in Southern California. So be ready for anything as when these swarms start, especially that close to the San Andreas fault zone, you got to be ready at any given time. Right there's the fault line right there. It runs all the way up through San Francisco Bay and out into the ocean. And in fact, I think it convenes up at the Cascadia fault zone with a couple of others. So anyway, swarm in Southern California, big heads up guys.